On incredibly short notice, my wife Sam and I were invited deep into the Amazon of Brazil, a trip that had been on my bucket list for as long as I can remember to the upper reaches of the Rio Negro River, where the water turns black and the peacock bass grow big. We were going to spend nine days aboard the Rio Negro Queen documenting and experiencing truly one of the most remote places on earth. Guys, we are headed uh, somewhere pretty crazy. This trip came up like incredibly last minute. I feel like I'm a pretty spontaneous person, but this was on a completely different level. Uh, like, I think a week ago, we booked flights to Manaus, to Brazil, and we are heading out with Captain Peacock. We're gonna show you what Captain Peacock's all about. Um, I don't even know what Captain Peacock's all about, but I think it's gonna be a trip of a lifetime, and I am just so happy that Sam was able to come along. So next stop, Manaus. We're currently in Miami. All right, Sam, it's go time. He ain't coming for free. Thank you. You gonna wear that the whole trip? Stop. Wash your hands often for at least 20 seconds using soap and water. Have a good night. Welcome to Manaus. Where to next? Hopefully there's a man here waiting for us. <laughs> we made it. Hi, I'm Jay. My name is Francisco. Nice to meet you, Francisco. We didn't sleep too long. That was a very quick hotel stay. <laughs> I think I slept for, I turned my computer off at four and our alarm went off at 5.30, so do the math. All right, here we go to the float plane. This is actually a van. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a lot going on. This is our float plane. We're about to head into the Amazon. It was tough to believe that just a week ago our flights weren't even booked to Brazil and now Sam and I were on a flow plane headed to the middle of the Amazon. The two hour flight was absolutely breathtaking and finally gave me perspective on the true vastness of the Amazon. Upstream into the black water of the Rio Negro River was our final destination and where we would meet up with our home for the next nine days. We can come out? Oh no. Nothing will bite you, my little videographer assistant. Welcome to the Amazon. Thank you for the flight, sir. Yeah. That was fun. I've been some remote locations. I've never felt this remote before. Pictures did not do justice to the Rio Negro Queen. This 165 foot yacht was called a floating hotel and I can see why. It looked like a piece of artwork from the outside and on the inside it had every comfort and convenience you could ever hope for and to have that in the middle of the Amazon was something I never expected. Is this okay? <laughs> we might see a Jaguar from our room. This isn't just a Jay and Sam fishing trip. Uh, we're helping film some promo for this lodge for Captain Peacock and uh, yeah, so we'll do a little bit of fishing, but a lot of it will be some behind the scenes of filming in the Amazon. Such a cool experience already, and it's like hour one. Uh, we're headed to Shore Lunch. We're going to meet up with the guys. This is just, there's so much going on. This boat's incredible. You will get a full tour yet, but I am just amazed by everything they've packed into this. Okay, we're rolling. Day two. 
we uh, we're gonna pack some fishing gear today along with some camera gear we'll see if we get an opportunity look at this view from our room there you can see the boats on the beach over there guides are getting ready the birds are starting to sing and day two of how many nine yeah crazy we got lots of time yeah so I might do some fishing but filming is the key but Sam might have to catch the fish if the other people can't come through yesterday we did shore lunch captured some super cool footage super unique shore lunch setting um, yeah but today we're just gonna follow some fishermen do a little filming and maybe one of us will catch our first peacock I, I'm not in too much of a rush um, but we'll just kind of see getting footage is key so that's that The Rio Negro River dwarfed any river system I'd ever been on before. It is the largest tributary running through the Amazon River as well as the largest blackwater river in the world, accounting for over 14% of the water in the Amazon Basin. At over 2,000 kilometers long, this river is massive. The further upstream you go, the darker the water. The direct translation of Rio Negro is Black River. And peacocks thrive in this dark water and that is why it is home to some absolute giants. The world record was actually caught with Captain Peacock back in 2010 and weighed in over 28 pounds. Our goal for this day was not only to film the other boats, but was to hopefully catch our first peacocks ourselves. You're gonna get just crushed. I'm telling you. Whack! I'm snag Jay. No, it's a fish. He's getting the gear ready. Look at this. Our man knows what's up. The net, the boga grip. His faith in my abilities. Well, Sam. <laughs> you had one on and it might have busted your back hook. Don't look at me now, I got hat marks. How do I look? Do I look like a dork with a camera on my head? Yes. I'm throwing the fly, Sam's throwing the jig. Surface baits is like the most popular, but we weren't getting hits. Oh, he's behind you, look at this, look at this. Come on, eat it. Come on. Oh! Come on! What the? Looking for my first peacock still. They're in here. They start waking behind it. There's a large, very large bug. Yep. <laughs> we are hooked up. Might be my first peacock. Are we rolling, Sam? I got hit near the boat. I don't think it's big, but I think it's a peacock. We got our first peacock bass and it's on the fly. Oh, they look cool. Probably good I didn't start off with a 20 pounder. Nice. Oh. There we go, first peacock in the Amazon, on the fly, with Captain Peacock Adventures. Amazing, all right. We're gonna get a quick picture of this guy and we're gonna put him back. First fish on the board, which feels great. This is the fly that did it. It looks a little wet and raggedy, but that's called a whistler. As I said, tie my buddy, my buddy Barry Austin. I used a 40 pound floral leader. This is a 10 weight Orvis Helios and uh, some Ross fly reel, but yeah, 10 weight is what you want for these big fish. That was obviously not a big fish, but you can see how hard they fight, so I can't imagine what like a 15 or 20 pounder would do. But yeah, this is a floating line. With this, it just sinks probably a foot or two under the surface, and that fish hit right by the boat, so go around them. We've seen a couple more. Had a couple chasing around the corner, so this is definitely a fishier area. Sam's next. Oh! Come on, come on! Ah! 
<laughs> oh, I can't keep up to him. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. There's a bunch with them, Sam. Cast your hair jig in. Cast your hair jig. Oh, he's gone. There's a bunch in there. Sam's on again. GoPro is dead. We're netting this one. Little again. Hey, Sam. Gotta get on the board. Woo. It's a pretty one, though. All right, Sam's first peacock. Yeah, hold a little bit higher. Yeah, that is beautiful. One second, I'm gonna just brighten it up a bit. Sam thought that it was bleeding by the gills, but that's just how red they are. That's amazing. I'm gonna take a quick picture and then we'll put it back. Jay. Sam. Why are you casting into oblivion? Frantically. Okay, well we just made it out of that back bay. And I was like, oh man, there's only small fish here. And then as we're leaving the bay, I just hear the biggest explosion ever and like a 15 to 20 pound peacock is just going airborne chasing bait. It was absolutely insane how ferociously that fish was hunting. I can't say I've seen anything like that in freshwater before. It was just like, yeah, frantic for about 30 seconds. We haven't seen him since he was hunting, he or she, but man, that was a big fish. I'm using the wood chopper. I was using the fly rod, but just for covering water, making a lot of noise. Chopper. Try true and test it. Well, it is day three. We're going fishing. We did yesterday. We caught our first peacocks. Today we're matching, as you can see by our outfits. Hopefully we can catch a good one today. Uh, the one boat caught 40 yesterday. We, we and the boat that we followed to film had, had a little bit of a slower day, but uh, they're still catching fish. We caught fish. We saw a monster, as I said. And uh, yeah, we're just, Loving life on the yacht. It's a little cloudier today, a little rainier. Don't know what that means for fishing, but here we go. That's what I'm using right there. Sam's gonna be probably casting a hair jig or the top water. We'll see. See how she can handle it. Cayman? Oh yeah, I see it. Oh, on. <laughs> Look at that Cayman. Oh, ho. we're on him today. Nice. All right, number one. I think today's gonna be really good, just based on what was going on right now. Good? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> This one just super. What is that? What is this? Portuguese uh, jacunda. Jacuda? Jacunda. Jacuda? Jacunda. Jacunda. Wow, that's a crazy looking fish. <laughs> 39 hours. Amazon. <laughs> We've got two species. Come on, stay on. <laughs> piranha. Piranha! My first piranha! Piranha. First piranha. Oh, I kind of want to put my finger in his mouth, but I won't. There we go. First piranha. The teeth don't actually look that bad right now, but I saw the skin pull back and they're actually crazy. Very cool. All right. Bye bye. All right, Sam, we've made a move. Can you describe what, we've, uh, what we're doing? Um, sure, as you can see behind me here, there's some brush, little sand island. We haven't stopped driving yet, so I don't know where he's gonna take us. I'm having a pop. It's 9 a.m. <laughs> we just casted that point so many times. This is by far the biggest one yet. This is like the first adult peacock. Oh, that's Ooh. a pretty fish. 
All right, guys, first, it, like, it's not that much bigger than the other ones, but the bars on the side are just incredible. And that top water shake, that was my first one on the wood chopper, so. Show us the tail. Look at that tail. Look at the gills, look how orange they are. Anyways, we're gonna get a quick release on this release shot and uh, we're gonna get back to casting. This is our guide nachos wood chopper and this is, uh, I keep talking about it, but this is the number one big fish bait around here. Big prop on the back, which churns up so much water. They put like extra strong hooks on these, but you can see some of those are tooth marks. Some of those are just wear from the hooks, but this, this lure could tell some stories and that explosion on the water is why peacock bass fishing is so incredible and that it's like a four, five pound fish. I, I just can't imagine one twice the size. But we cast at that point probably 50 times, which I'm not used to. I'd given up hope. Nacho said, just keep going, keep going. And I was just like, started casting off to the other side, to the other side. He's like, don't keep casting there. And then, oh, boom. So always trust your guide. Always trust your guide. All right. Come on, peacock. Before my wife dies of heat stroke. Oh my goodness! Come on, do you see how far he pushed the lure? Cast. He popped that lure at us so far. Get in there, Sam. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Sam is hooked up. That's a big one. Man, it just popped my lure at me like 10 feet. Talk to me, Sam. Oh! Keep it tight. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lift. That's a big one. Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on. Yeah. You can hold him with the bogey if you want. Yeah, there we go. Hold it a little bit higher. Yeah. One last look at that monster. Look at the colors on that. And that's only an eight pounder. They get so much bigger. All right, going over the side. There you go. Oh, there it goes. Yes. Oh yeah, buddy. We got it done. Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh. On the hair jig. On the jig. Not the ball. Guys, as I kind of mentioned before, top water is great. Top water is so much fun and a very effective technique. But having a throwback bait is so key. And Sam threw out that jig, and I think it was the first cast, maybe second cast with the jig, and that fish came and killed it just instantly. If you would have seen how deep it was down the fish's throat, it was hunting. So top water is great, but just always have a second bait ready. I'm not a peacock expert, but this is just what I've seen largemouth fishing or, you know, pike fishing. If they're aggressive the first time to hit the top, they'll probably hit something down below the second time. Anyways, it's good. It's good. Hey. Sam and I had such a great day on the river fishing with our guide Nacho, and while we realized that the fish do get a lot bigger, to have that big fish hit at my topwater and then Sam hook up on it with a jig shortly after and the fight that ensued, that was all we needed. That made the trip for me, and I knew we had more days, but if we didn't catch a bigger one, I was completely content. You love the heat. Is this place too hot for you? You guys, Brazil, this trip, this is the hottest place I've ever been <laughs> in my life. And like, the sun is just relentless. Like, we're, wearing, we're basically covered everywhere. We've been wearing SPF 60 on everything. Would you rather be ice fishing? No, definitely not. No complaints. But if you do decide to come here, just be prepared for like... Long sleeves is good, long pants. Hey. We're gonna give you guys a tour of the of the vessel now of the the queen we call it. 
Everyone calls it the Queen. We're gonna give you a tour. We gotta shoot the presidential suite, which no one is staying in right now, which is like the ball and suite. And I think you can see our room right there. Are the curtains open? Yeah. Yes! This is temperature. <laughs> this is just like... <laughs> so good. Whew. All right, first stop on the tour. This is the presidential suite, guys. This is, uh, this is as good as it gets right here. You've got a jacuzzi tub. You've got a shower, massive bed, a TV that drops down and stores away. Uh, storage for all of your apparel. Mini fridge, and then washroom, two sinks, and the shower. This is, <laughs> this is like the nicest. Insane, insane. Look at the view. Look at this view, guys. That is the presidential suite. We are gonna photograph it, film a little slow-mo, so they got some for the website, but yeah, wow. What, what a place. To the downstairs. Right here, we have a very large peacock bass and Leonardo, the owner who we're gonna meet in a couple days. Nice letter, honorary Texan. I think this company also holds the world record. He's a professional photographer. Ah, no oh! way! <laughs> no way! Humphrey. Well, I caught a nice fish today. How big? 19. 19 yeah! pounds, yes! That's yeah, a big yeah. one. That's huge. All right, let's, let's, let's keep going. This is the dining room. This is nice. It's so nice. Every dinner's been a little different. We've done one that was like a six course meal, some that are buffet. This is where we eat breakfast as well. Insane. This is the kitchen? The kitchen, yes. This is where the magic happens. They have a Michelin star chef here. This is where the day starts and ends. Yeah. Every day, 6 a.m., there's a ton of anglers out here getting in their boats, headed out. Yeah, they spared no expense on the gear here. This is Sheldon. Sheldon, say Hello. hi. Sheldon's hi. the manager. We're doing a tour right now, right. a little walkthrough video. All right, Sam, what's next? Upstairs. To the up, upstairs. Up, up. There. Okay, now we are up upstairs. All right, Sam, what's first? Let's get it over with. Go meet the crew. Go meet the crew. This is the chill hangout area if you want air conditioning. This is your place. Onwards. Oh, and there's TV if you like to watch TV. Here we have the gym. Oh, hey there. <laughs> Isn't this insane? I have to admit I haven't hit the gym yet, but look at this view. I don't think anyone's ever had a better view working out. This is where the massage happens. There's someone more qualified than me that will give a massage. Okay, that's enough. Let's keep going. Incredible. What fishing boat doesn't have a masseuse? I don't know. And this is the loft. The cushions are about to be put out for the evening time, but look at this, guys. And here's the pool. Sam, do you want to jump in to end the tour? Is that nice? Looks like things are almost set. This is gonna be quite the night. Welcome back to another episode. Where are we now? What's going on? This is, I don't even know what day it is. Rio Negro Queen in the background. That is incredible. We have been spoiled. We are parked at the beach. We've been here all day, actually. And we are at a luau. And we're about to have dinner. But there's the bar, there's the table. Amazing. Quick update for you guys. It is now day uh, five maybe. We gotta get going. We're going to a local village. We have now had a changeover. There's a new group in camp. And this is something incredibly cool that Captain Peacock does is 
they invite doctors and dentists to come stay with them and then they go and visit the local villages and they give them help if they need help and in return those doctors or dentists whatever whoever they are they get a discount on the trip so they get to come on this trip of a lifetime and uh, get to do some good work and probably do some fishing this group's a little bit different i don't think they're going to be fishing as much i don't know what's going to happen the next couple days but we're headed to the village and hopefully you can share some footage we'll see see you guys in a bit While I thought Sam's big peacock was going to be the highlight of the trip for me, I was completely wrong. Visiting the local village and the work that followed afterwards was hands down my favorite part of the trip. Captain Peacock runs something called the Maria Foundation. Maria stands for medical assistance in the rivers of the Amazon. While Captain Peacock operates their business on these remote reaches of the river, it's incredible to see that the locals aren't overlooked. While most people in these remote villages have the water and food they need to survive, they don't all have the medical care they need. After touring the local village, the crew set up stations both in the town center as well on board the Rio Negro Queen. Here they had dentists, optometrists, and nurses along on the trip. Just in that one evening, cavities were filled, people received their first set of glasses, and locals had any checkups they needed. Seeing Leo incorporate his faith and generosity through the Maria Foundation was so incredible. The respect between the crew and the locals was a very special thing to see. We are back in the jungle. We've been driving for two and a half hours. This is insane. <laughs> All right, it was a bit of a drive, but we're back out here. It is day, probably day five or day six. We got pretty drone shots of the lodge. We got amazing scenery shots. We got we got everything that a good promo video needs except a big fish. So we have fish on film, but we don't have the grande peacock bass. So that's what we're doing today. I'm with Bolivar and our guide champion. And we're gonna catch a 20 pounder. Yeah. We are hooked up, a little guy. We're on the board, a little guy on the jig. I think this is called a spotted, maybe? That jig is what got it done. When you're the third line through, sometimes you gotta do something a little different. Ooh, wow. A couple fish on this point. Look how orange those gills are. Amazing. And we're catching them. These fish just look amazing. Going back. We got more fish on. Yep. What is that? These. Wow. Look at that. Crazy. There we go. Got a little more weight. Stay out of there. Oh, man, do they pull hard. Jeez, I can't imagine a big one. There we go. That might be my biggest, pretty close, I think. Oh, casting. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh, he's on. Come on, that's gotta be a good one. It's gotta be a good one. Oh, no. Huh? Oh! Oh! Good. I don't know if my head cam captured that possibly decently, but there was just a feeding frenzy. They both got hooked up instantly. I don't know if it's the same fish, but it was just wild. I, I put the rod down and uh, grabbed the camera and didn't get any jumps or strikes, but that was our biggest one yet, so things are, things are looking up. 
As we had our best fishing day of the trip, I could see why anglers from all over the world were drawn to this phenomenal sport fish. The way these fish would destroy topwater bait and then go airborne was as good as it gets. All right, Sam, this might be our last day of fishing. I'm chopping the wood, Sam's ripping a hair jig. We're still looking for that elusive 10 plus pounder. We just had just bad luck. Sometimes that happens. Guy was out yesterday, his first fish ever, 19 pound peacock. That's just how it goes. Fish. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I waited and he ate it there. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh. Sam's on. What you got, Sam? Pika. Nice. That one just crushed you. Oh, nice jump. Sam's on the board. We'll get a photo. Here you go, Sam. Beautiful. That's a call the three bar. Do you know why? Why? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Okay, you can release them. Yeah, go ahead. What was your key to success? Didn't have one, sorry. <laughs> Raise your hand if you miss ice fishing. Not me. Oh. oh. Yeah. Ow. Get out of there. <laughs> it's on. Ooh. Some good jumps out of this one. Jeez. That was crazy. I think there's a fish. Oh, I thought I saw fish following. It's a fat one. Beautiful peacock. That one was so shallow. So cool. Do you know what type this is, Sam? Might have been on a bed. All right, going back. Life is good. We're going for shore lunch. And I don't know, there, there may be some more fishing, there may be not, but there's going to be some more adventures. So don't think this is over just yet. One of the biggest advantages of being on a floating hotel is that you could move to wherever the fish were. Every day while we were fishing, the Rio Negro Queen would move to a new section of river and we would meet up with them at the end of the day. Well, our fishing was done for the trip and the ship was headed back to the port in Manaus. Because of that, we were able to witness the ship with all of its boats and tow crews during the daytime. What a cool sight to see. We're not on the Rio Negro Queen anymore. We have we made it back to port to Manaus and we have one last day and we are experiencing uh, some of the local attractions that uh, Captain Peacock lined up for us. So this is gonna be uh, just a mixture of everything today, some wildlife, some culture, some history, and uh, yeah. Some dolphins. And some dolphins, here we go. Hola, Just gonna go in the vlog? <laughs> <Don't look. laughs> Maybe. Good thing you've been hitting the gym. Don't touch, okay? They'll touch me. Silence. Silence? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, for us, for us, for us, Oh my goodness. Swimming with dolphins was incredible, and now we're going on where is this? It just through some channels and wildlife crews? Yeah, this is an area that uh, 
when the river is low, you cannot cross in this area, it's dry. You but can now walk in here. All right, so we toured the town. What's what's the Brazilian name for Arapaima? So what? That what's Portuguese. the Portuguese name for Arapaima? Pirarucu. Pirarucu? Pirarucu. Pirarucu. Ruku. Yeah. Pira means <laughs> fish. Ruku red. Perfect. Means red, red fish. fish. Look at this little light cat fish called Pirarara. Oh, they come all the side. Oh, oh. They know. <laughs> Okay, Sam, you gotta try. No, you. You gotta try the one, then I get a shot. All right, Sam. See you. See you can catch an Arapaima. <laughs> that was a strong <laughs> one. That was crazy, crazy. I'd like to sneak a hook in here and catch one, but I'd probably get in trouble. We are headed next to the meeting of the waters. That is like a legendary spot where the Amazon and the Rio Grande rivers meet. Pretty cool, because the waters don't mix. The one is very dark and muddy. The one is blue-ish, so you'll see it shortly. Here we go. Our last day in Manaus was the perfect way to end our trip. We got to swim with dolphins, feed arapaima, see all sorts of wildlife and experience more of the local culture. This trip will definitely rank at the top of my list and I'm already counting the months till Sam and I can come back to the Amazon.